when I remove the flywheel from my Subaru motor I noticed a patch of oily dirt right here the telltale sign of a, a small oil leak coming from this service plate so I'm going to reseal this now a challenge with Phillips head screws is that they the screwdriver wants to cam out as you turn it, it wants to pop out of the uh, cross slot here and I want to take those screws out without damaging them there's kind of a pointy bit I'll try it and it's the bits too long and pointed it won't seat in the Phillips slots here this is a little stubbier one and it's not too long but it simply doesn't engage with these grooves so I'll keep going until I find something that actually feels like it locks in there it is feels like it locks in place this is a longer driver which is fine but this tip fits right in that slot that's what I want to use you can see this cam action here if I wanted to tighten the screw I'd turn it that direction in the direction that I want to tighten the screw and when I hit this with a hammer it'll turn the screw that way this way it's going to turn it uh, to loosen it and I want to use a substantial hammer not not a big old sludge hammer but uh, this is probably a pound and a half something like that. give it a, a firm tap with a substantial hammer and the driver removes the screws without damaging them seal there generic little bag doesn't say Subaru on it or anything but it looks like about the right thing looks like when I tighten these Phillips screws it'll squish the seal into that slot see if I can get it. notice that I'm if I'm gonna scratch the aluminum I want to do it on the inside of the seal not the outside I don't want to dig in from over here just my instincts I'm just thinking out loud probably won't take much to get it out That's just about out of there. Clean that groove a little bit. That's pretty good. And we'll see if I can get this seal to land that slot for me that looks like it'll stay there I figure which side is which oh, it's like that these two holes are to the right of the center of the big hole trying to make sure that my seal stays in that spot Yeah, 
yeah, I think that seal stayed in place for me. So I'm going to tighten it to where I'm afraid the Phillips screwdriver is going to cam out. I'm going to use my nifty little hammer driver to tighten it just a little more. So I've turned it so that it's going in a clockwise direction. Don't want to go too far. You can break these screws off. That ought to do it.